Welcome back, you beautiful people. The art of bunny hopping, Neil. Important, isn't it? It's very important. If you want to clear obstacles and basically level up your riding, improving your bunny hop is a really important step. So today we talk about it, give you some tips and tricks, and also try and fix some of those common mistakes to make your bunny hop bigger. The bunny hop is all about getting your wheels off the ground, preferably your front one first and then your rear follows. Blake, you're today's bunny, do yeah. hop in. So we use Blake as the demoist. Uh, I'm going to break it down into the key elements to make it really clear what you have to do. A solid bunny hop begins with your body position in the center of the bike, and then you're going to move your weight around from there, starting with a front wheel lift. From that central position, move your hips down and then back. This is going to compress your suspension if you're on a full suspension bike. And the movement back is then going to lift the front wheel, keeping your arms straight so the handlebars come back with you, your front wheel will lift off the ground. Right, now let's hit pause on Blake as he's done the front wheel lift. This is moving on to the rear wheel lift. So Blake moves from his position to the back of the bike and he stands up and forward. That then pops the rear wheel. If you then scoop with your feet as well, you can get a bit of extra height. With the front and rear wheel lifts mastered, it's time to put it all together. To lift the front wheel, go down and back. To lift the rear wheel, stand up and forward. Ideally, this technique should look really similar no matter if you're on flat or clipless pedals. Eagle Eye viewers will see that Blake is on clipless pedals, but he's obviously very good at doing his bunny hops. I'm on flat, so I'll show you the same technique. Uh, if you do it on clips, you can cheat by just pulling your feet up for rear wheel lift, but that will seriously limit how big you can go with the bunny hop, because actually your weight is staying back and you're just lifting the rear of the bike up. And also not good if you're starting to use your bunny hops for doing jumps. On flat pedals, you do have to concentrate a bit more on that scooping action with your feet. So you're going down and back against the pedals to lift up the rear wheel. If you are really struggling with a rear wheel lift on flat pedals, as you're doing the scoop, you can give a bit of a push on the bars to help it out, but it does make the landing a little bit rougher, but it's a nice little cheat. If you wanna just practice your rear wheel lift, then forget the first part of the bunny hop completely and just concentrate on that rear wheel lift, rolling along, scooping back and trying to pick up the back wheel. Once you've got the elements of the bunny hop, the front wheel lift and the rear wheel lift, well done, but the hard part is now the timing, where you need to get it all in one smooth motion. So you go down and back to the front wheel, up and forward to lift the rear, We've got a nice little trick to help you with this. Get yourself a stick, basically ride at that stick and try not to touch it. So front wheel up and over, and then pause where you are, and then stand up and forward to lift the rear wheel. Once you've nailed that, then up your speed a little bit, still trying to avoid the stick, and it turns into a bunny hop. Well done, Blake. Yes, Neil. Here are the most common mistakes that are holding people back when it comes to bunny hops. Using muscles to lift the bike into the air is really easy to spot because the wheels go up in a square. So that's really not useful on the trails. You can't lift up and over things like the stick. So really that's where you've got to practice the hips. If you video yourself, it's really simple to see, like I've already said, but you want the hips to go down and back and forward. If they're staying above the saddle, you're doing it wrong not getting a good rear wheel lift. So this all starts from the first bit. If you don't get low and far enough back on the front wheel lift, then you haven't got anywhere to stand up from. If you're about there, you're not gonna get a good rear wheel lift. So start off, get a good front wheel lift, make sure you're low, stand up and forward. It should feel like you're springing up into the air and that's gonna pop the rear wheel with a scoop. The last common mistake is poor timing. So this can be seen if both wheels aren't coming off the ground and they're not up in the air at the same time, or if you're getting them at totally different heights. So for this one, go back, get your stick, start it nice and slow, front wheel over, then rear wheel, and then up your speed. Hopefully, you'll then get a feel for doing this in all one smooth motion. Yeah. Nice hopping, Blake. Nailed it. 
Right, now let's take a look at a couple of more advanced ways to use your bunny hop to help you out on the trail. The pre-hop is a great way to gain speed on the trails and it's a crucial part of being able to ride the trails with an active riding style rather than a passive. You basically add a bunny hop in before a fade away so that you land at the top of it and then you get an extra bit of pump for more speed on the trail, as well as being smoother. Nailing the timing of a pre-hop and catching the top of the downslope perfectly is one of the best feelings. The hop up. Being able to hop up steps or ledges is a great skill to have in your arsenal, normally for low speed technical riding. The basic technique is the same as a regular bunny hop, but when it comes to rear wheel, you really need to make sure you get that back end lifted up. You need to avoid casing your back wheel to keep your momentum. As with the rest of these skills, start small and work your way up. Really exaggerate those movements, in particular, bringing the back wheel up underneath you, and it's great for technical climbing. How often do you practice your bunny hops? <laughs> every time I go out for a ride, Neil, I'm using the bunny hop every time on the trail just to gain speed. And show off. And that, and to test my suspension in a car park. Oh, nice. Yeah. Anyway, we've got time for one last uh, loop. Yep. Buy some trails, shall we? Yes, please, Neil, and test out the bunny hops again. See ya!